Sarah from Pop Nerd TV, and I'm here with the Star Kid team. Yeah. We got, part, got of them. part of them, not all of them, not everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the best ones. The, the, the best ones, let's be honest. No, I'm just kidding. But we got Joey, we got Lauren, and we got Dylan Saunders. What's up? Yeah. Oh, I'm the same yes. Mm -hmm. Joey, Lauren, <laughs> they're all married you know to each other yeah <laughs> yeah we we're on here we're you know letting the new letting everyone know the news yeah, and stuff yeah, yeah for sure uh surprise um but okay if you've got you guys watched a very Potter musical that yeah, we're at leaky con obviously mm -hmm. so you may have known joey as ron malfoy dumbledore there you go. Yeah. So I uh, let's warm up with one a question. So how did Star Kid and the Very Potter Musical start? For those who are a newer generation, just watching it on YouTube and going, "What is this? Wow, this is a thing." Star Kid came about from uh, the minds of Matt and Nick Lang. It's uh, we started with the show, Very Potter Musical, that uh, they had been joking about for years, just as fans of the books. At the time, it was called Harry Potter the Musical. At the time, it was called Harry Potter the <laughs> then Musical. Then we got in trouble. Before, oh, we, no, before yeah. we even had heard the phrase um, intellectual property before. Mm -hmm. um, and there was, I think the story goes that they were asking the question, why is, why is Draco being so mean to Hermione? It must mean that, I wonder if Draco has a crush. And, and I think Nick always tells the story that it's, you know, it, wouldn't that be funny if we wrote this song about I feel like I'm in danger of falling in love with Hermione Granger, and they were like, "Wait a minute, we could we could make a whole show out of this." Um, and then the and joke of yeah. Voldemort and Quirrell too. Like, oh right, what was yeah, it right. Like, yeah. What was it like, like the Voldemort odd couple. being on the back of Quirrell's head for a whole year? <laughs> yeah. yeah, just like talking to each other, and that was kind of those two jokes stemmed the overall the idea of like yeah. a parody of the whole series or show. Yeah, the idea of Star Kid as a group though came about very unintentionally where we we had been working together for a while in college just doing like funny silly stuff on our own and then for some of our senior years in college we decided to do the the Harry Potter show just assuming it was going to be like all the other ones where like people on campus come to see it and that's it. And then we ended up filming one of the nights because a lot of our friends and family couldn't come see it. So we were like, well, we'll film it for them. We'll like, maybe we'll put it on this new thing called YouTube. Because yeah. this was way before YouTube was a thing. Yeah. Um, and we put it on and for some reason it ended up going viral before yeah. like viral was I remember a, a, lot thing. Of, a lot of people commented like, who is this company? I was like. We were like, it's not a company. Yeah, not a company. Star uh, Kid was not. Star like, Kid so. like came after where we were like after the popularity of the yeah. show got to be bigger and bigger and bigger we went well i guess we should like have yeah. an official name <laughs> for the ourselves is the channel still called star kid potter yes. I think so yeah because I think that so. was that's the one draco line where she's making fun of him about going to the moon or something and right. like, oh moon shoes potter star kid potter and i was like yeah. that'll be what the channel's called yeah so yeah it was an afterthought it went from of. what is this company to like we should make a company yeah, be, it was that would be a backward. cool thing. Too. Oh yeah. crap, this is the company. Yeah, <laughs> too. Oh man, we're still here almost 10 years later. <laughs> yes. So y'all are out of uh, Michigan, right? University of yeah. Michigan. Yeah. Yeah. School, yeah. yeah, I have family up there. Cool. So oh, I actually, nice. yeah, I actually visited University of Michigan campus for the first time ever because I... Awesome. Isn't it the best? Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Um, yeah. The museums and nearby and mm. oh, and the... Oh. Yeah, the arts, yeah. I, was I was like, Aunt Linda, take me and I want to yeah. see it. She's like, you want to go campus yeah. like that's weird like do they live in Ann Arbor yes they cool. do they do uh, they and she was like okay because you know, she went there and Ooh. she was like oh that's where I used to study that's where you know um, I hung out and stuff I was like oh that's awesome. wow that's crazy and so when I heard you guys were from there it blew my mind I that's had no awesome. idea yeah, yeah. it's a cool place Aunt Linda if you're listening please take us back Thank I'll you. have to send her this video because she sent me a YouTube video through email and I feel like send their one back yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, okay so I have a few fun questions um, but um, so the big the, one of the biggest things about Larry Pond musical is pig farts um, is there anything about pig farts that we just don't know we don't know because obviously Malfoy mm. knows everything about pig farts but I know there's a lot of things that are canon rumber war everything like that but what is there something we don't know Ooh. Is this for me? If you want <laughs> like, to. No, unless, unless some of you guys like maybe came up with some inside things that you're like, oh, what if this or what if that? We honestly, it's funny. We didn't, the jokes that like we all behind the scenes dwell on the most yeah. are, are never the jokes that people respond to the most. So 
the the pig farts rumble roar thing was like it was just kind of part of the show. We never really like expanded on it, and then yeah. everyone who watched it like really latched onto it. So we were like, oh, the thing okay. we latched onto was prepare my flying machine, which oh. no one liked. That's that a joke. Which we our go, favorite. we love the idea yeah. of him having a flying machine. Right. Yeah. Right. And that was that was something that. That the Never audience did repeated. not. No yeah. Ever, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they did so, not like it. I don't know. Wasn't didn't they have an idea? Wasn't there some idea at one point to expand upon the pig farts thing? <laughs> I have no idea. Add like houses and like all kinds of things. Oh, like, yeah, they houses might have had a house. Like You'd have to ask Nick Lang this. Yeah. You'd have to ask Nick Lang. They have he's ideas. The, he's the mastermind I'll, behind I'll it. I'll Whatever have to. we say won't be canon. And yeah. Yeah. We'll yeah. I would say that everything's made of cardboard, but that would be wrong. <laughs> that would be wrong. <laughs> that would be actually amazing. Yeah. I can imagine in Mars just like these random cardboard cutouts yeah. and yeah. in office like, I'm here. Oh yes. gosh, yeah. this is terrible. Um, <laughs> so one of the, another joke was that was part of it was tr the Zephron, Zach Efron. Okay. So in your opinion, or uh, to you, okay. <laughs> What together. is your favorite, um, or Dumbledore's favorite, Troy Bolton High School Musical song? You can pick from one, two, or three, or you know, it's up to you. I think I, I think the the OG High School Musical, um, yeah. soaring, flying. There's not a star in heaven that we can't reach. Is it would be a great. I could I could see him jam. It's a great tune, you know, and I think the uh, the idea behind Dumby is that he was always. Uh, he always wanted to be real cool to the kids, so mm -hmm. he probably would just be like, I saw the first one, and, and that's the best. It's <laughs> first is the best. You can't, yeah. can't compare the others. For me, it was Bet On It. I know that's bet from this it. family. Oh, it. yeah, I was in the community theater, and they decided, let's do High School Musical 1 and 2, and you're oh. going to be in the chorus. And so I had to dance every single one. It was awesome. I wonder if, awesome. they do, like, if there are theaters that do like all three High School Musicals so without an intermission, yeah, like, like no intermission, like, 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 like the, the curse, curse exactly. Where they just yeah. do it all like, day long and have a dinner yeah. break. Yeah. And you go, all right. Yeah. They just serve dinner yeah. in the middle of the theater, and then like yeah. near the end, Troy Bolton's voice just cracks, you know, and he's like, ah. Maybe like a classical theater piece to see all that three High School us. Musicals. Yeah. Yeah. I would see that honestly. <laughs> Um, so, I know another big question that people ask is like, will you continue the whole Harry Potter universe? Will you do like a Fantastic Beast parody? Would you do a Cursed wish. Child parody? I, so. I wish. Yeah. I, I don't know. I think that the future is never fully set in stone. Nah, I mean, I'm going to set it in stone right now. <laughs> like, no. Um, our whole, our experience, especially with like the third Harry Potter senior year, felt like a very yeah. final complete thing. final mm -hmm foray into that universe. It's like And they've kind of always envisioned it as three parts. We I remember so. Matt and Nick talking about the third part, their ideas for the third part, back when we were in Florida at Infinitus premiering the second mm. part. Mm -hmm. I remember them playing describing the whole end of like Harry going out into the forest and like needing to fight Voldemort one last time and was seeing his parents and all the ghosts the and when they play everything ends when everything ends happens right. and Matt and Nick playing because they, they do this a lot when they regale you with stories as they have scores and soundtracks from other movies that they <laughs> time up for their own stories so they were playing the music from Gladiator when, oh when Russell Crowe's character dies to and telling about the end and like and Harry sees all his family and you're like this is pretty good. And three years, two, two and a half years later was like when we actually did it. So it's the, that kind of thing where those those full complete sagas have like gestated for a while. So mm -hmm. it's like even yeah. if there was to be something else, it wouldn't happen for years. And, and uh, just logistically, it's, it's hard to do the Harry Potter stuff because uh, – you know, we got a cease and desist the first time we did it. Yeah. So it's like, it's hard to make money off, off of them, which you need to yeah. do in order to do a production. We're in our so. 30s and yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but you guys yeah. are about to do the next. There's a new Star Kid yes. show. Coming I was about out. to ask yeah. about that. Um, the, the guy who didn't like musicals, musicals. Mm -hmm. And at first I got like kind of a, like a horror vibe from that. And I'm a big, yeah. I'm a big, hor I'm a big horror fan. Horror like, love Vincent Price, love all of those oh, yeah, films. Yeah. So I got a lot of those vibes. And so kind of tell me a little bit about it and um, when is it, when, when do we expect? I know I saw the Kickstarter happening and then tickets, but when is that gonna happen? It's running through October in mm -hmm. Los Angeles at the Matrix Theater. In West Hollywood. 
Um, I, I don't know anything else yeah, about we, it. Yeah, we don't. I don't want to. I don't feel like I have the authority to say full plot details yeah. or anything. Basic idea is that it's uh, a musical about a guy, Paul, who doesn't like musicals, and <laughs> um, he essentially gets uh, very much in the vein of like Invasion of the Body Snatchers and like kind of old you know, 1960s poppy, like, uh, like kind of Star, uh, not Star Trek, uh, Twilight zone oh, kind yeah, of things, so like oh, stuff, that. um, except it's not, that's not the time period it's set in, but, you know, that aliens come down, this alien race is trying to create a race of humanity that is, uh, sings musicals, <laughs> and, Don't and they're, away. That's kind of what that do they already want. did they already say that? That's yeah. Oh, okay. sorry, sorry. <laughs> Kickstarter, it's in the Kickstarter. Just looking out. Yeah, just looking yeah. out, but yeah. But yeah, the, uh, a yeah. meteor crashes. Should be fun. I'm excited. It looks super cool. I'm in the sci-fi and everything, so nice. I'm excited to see the yeah, show. So for those, I grew up seeing Star Kid from YouTube and being in high school and everything, um, but there's a young generation. So how can we find, for those who haven't seen or want to get into it, how can we find you guys? You can go to the YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash Potter, and we're also on Instagram at the real Team Star Kid and Twitter at Team Star Kid. Uh, and all the stuff is there. All the yeah. concerts, all the yeah. sketches. It's it's all it's, it's all there. Stuff. Yeah. yeah, it's a fun time. Yeah. Check it out. Uh, thank you, guys. Wow, thanks. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much. Um, and don't forget to check out T Team Star Kid. Thanks, Aunt Linda. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.